Welcome to the September Fat Fiber Sampler Box Preview Video. This month our theme is Pirates and Their Treasure. And this box is an absolute beautiful treasure. We've got golds, we've got jewel tones, there's um, skull and crossbones, there's all kinds of wonderful things that are from in and out of the ocean. Um, buried treasure, sunken treasure, it's absolutely wonderful. Um, I can't wait to show you all the silks people sent in, different ideas of what they think pirates might have found or what they would look what, what they're looking for, what they wanted to plunder. Um, Denny says booty like 55,000 times, so we'll have a little contest relating to that at the end of the video. Hello. <laughs> Yo ho mateys. Pirates in their treasures. We have a box of booty. Not in the rap style, but in the pirate style. So right now we're going to show you everything that could be in your box. There are some samples that aren't here yet, so they won't be in the video. You could also get those. And you won't get all of the samples because you get 20 samples per box. And you always get accessory samples in that 20. So um, there's a potential to get all kinds of great stuff. I can't wait to show you what it looks like and let's get started. Okay, so let's see what we've got in this wonderful pirate themed box. First thing I see is from the Wooly Lion. This is called Buried Treasure, and it's a hand blended mini bat. It's got merino, corydell, alpaca, silk, flax, and firestar. So the flax is nice because it gives you a little bit of texture. Firestar gives you the sparkle, so does silk. Alpaca is going to give you some of that softness and fuzziness that I love in hand spun yarn. Buried Treasure hand blended mini bat. Need help? I might. Yarb. Arr! Shiver me timbers, that's tough. Alice at Handmade Hollows sent us these beautiful locks called Mermaid's Locks. And these are teaswater locks, which means they're beautifully bright and long and soft. I really love working with um, teaswater locks for either um, lock spinning or I like to spin the ends in and leave the length of the of the lock long so that you get this wonderful long lock hanging off of your hand spun yarn. But these colors are great. I love these soft purples and blues. Handmade hollows. My head just stitched. That was nothing to do with nothing. Fleas. Bugs. <laughs> it's got scurvy. Pirates did not bathe enough. Bugs. <laughs> Didn't bleed on me. Mermaid's locks. They do look like mermaid's locks. If you blow dried the mermaid. Stacy at Full Circle Artworks sent us this little six roving set like she usually does. Um, inspired by steampunk in general and the Lady Mechanica comic book series in particular. The Delphinium is super fine merino bronze stellina so it's got nice bronze sparkle in it the graphite is carbonized bamboo the gold here is new zealand corydale sliver the maroon is chevoit wool the buckskin color is 56's wool and the parchment color is corydale cross so she likes to give you several different fibers that you can experience that are dyed beautifully you get to try all the different um, fibers out and still enjoy a fun spinning experience. I want to see the colors. There are like six different colors in there. And there's six different fibers. That is like a whole treasure trust of stuff. You got to have this. Dawn at Dr Bristle Ridge Alpaca sent us this beautiful silk brick. This month, um, all of her different her samples are different fibers, and I chose this one to highlight because I am kind of in love with silk brick. It's super soft. If you've never worked with it, it's a nice wide preparation, and it's a combed preparation. Really, really beautiful. Um, silk brick is a lot of fun to dye. The challenge is to get the dye all the way into the fiber, because silk wants to have these little pockets of air hidden in it but it's really a beautiful fiber to work with and it's super super soft silk brick is not as heavy as a brick you, you can could spin your booty off more booty 
Designs by Tammy sent us these cute little stitch markers that are skull and crossbones with a little pink bow in on the top of the skull. I think they're adorable. She sent us those for all of our our boxes and I think they're really fun. And she does a lot of really fun stuff with with images on her stitch markers and I think that's kind of great. This is like a Hello Kitty skull. <laughs> it's got a little pink bow. It does. It's the cutest little skull and crossbones ever. Curly Q sent us in these beautiful little rovings and they're different colors but I chose this one because I loved the blue and purple combination. I thought it was really pretty and I thought it was kind of um, jewel toned and oceanic all at the same time. I think that was kind of fun. But I think this would be a really fun fluff to spin. I'd love to see it spun up into yarn. The staple length is a nice length for both beginners and advanced spinners. I think anybody would love to spin this up. And they haven't been um, in our box in quite a while. I, she actually hasn't been in the box since I took over, so this is a really fun thing to see her fibers back in the fat fiber box. It looks to me like, you know those tide water puddles you get with all the little rocks in them? When the sun hits it? It looks like that. Like all those cool little rocks and you're looking through the water. And you pick one up and the crab gets you as you're going in. This fiber is from me. This is Wonderland Fiber Fluff. And I did kind of a jewels and under the ocean and gold kind of theme. And I blended bats this time. Really like how they came out. It's um, 18 micron merino, so it's super, super soft. There's a little bit of Angelina Sparkle. I actually used the holographic um, stratosphere, the holographic blue Angelina, which I think is a lot of fun. And um, yeah, at first I wasn't sure about these fibers and I had blended them less where the colors were much more distinct and I wasn't happy with the results and finally I decided to blend it one more time and it was perfect. Totally, totally happy with that. Wonderland fiber has a soft diaphanous fiber with all kinds of colors which we talked all about. There's some gold running through it. <laughs> which makes it pirate treasure. Hey, Sparkle Stitching is back. I love seeing her work in here. Um, these are little lobster claws with anchors on them, and she called these drop anchor, and they're placeholder stitch markers. So you can mark your place, um, you can mark the front and the back of your work, you can, um, you can even leave them attached or use them as zipper poles or anything like that. They're really great for just about any kind of um, accessory sparkle that you wanna add to your work or just as a regular stitch marker as well. Sparkle stitching. Anchors. Anchors away. So do you think everybody will get these stitch markers with all this cool stuff? And it'll inspire them to do something knitted that's all naughty and nautical? Maybe. Let's see. Shades of Light sent us these beautiful little skeins. These are um, Superwash Merino and Nylon. I absolutely love these colors together. There's a lot of different blues and greens in there. Let's get real close and see how we can... Yeah, there we go. And there's a little bit of purple, violet. Super bright, super oceanic. Love these colors. These are the kinds of colors Lisa and I cannot resist. We, When we see yarn this color, we have to have some because we love it. This month, Plum Crazy sent us in some amazing luxury fiber. This is mink fiber. And I did a little research on mink fiber and it is collected by combing and it is sustainable and non-damaging to the critter, which I, I find important. Um, the staple length's fairly short. It's only about an inch and a half to two inches. So this would be a great fiber to blend in if you wanted to add heat. I think it's really beautiful and super soft. And I wonder what it would look like dyed. I think a dark red on this fawn color, kettle dyed would be amazing. But yeah, it's so soft. Plum Crazy Fiber Arts, 100% mink. Mink. Somebody just got shorted. Some bird is gonna have mink in their nest. I plundered their booty. 
Cyber Quirk sent us these gorgeous Rolex. She called these ones diamonds and rust. And they've got just a bit of sparkle in them. There's BFL, there's Tussa Silk Merino, and Fiber Firestar. I absolutely love this fiber combination. And I think it looks really beautiful. I can see her inspiration with diamonds and rust in there. So beautiful. Fiber Quirks. That is a pretty shell colored coral looking thing. Like, when they made you walk the plank, the last thing you would see before the bubbles left would be this coral. <laughs> Bloop. Narwhal Mint sent in this gorgeous little skein. This is called Kraken, and it's on watercolor sparkle. You can see that she has different levels of blues in here, and then just a, a beautiful brown and gold streak all the way through. I absolutely love the layers of color in here. This is Superwash Merino, Nylon, and Stellina. So there is still that really pretty little Stellina sparkle if you're a sparkle lover like I am. And then she's got a little Kraken picture on the front with, which matches all those colors. So the brown is the Kraken's eye. That was really fun. The Kraken needs no explanation. From Narwhal Knits. Nar now Narwhal Knits would know the Kraken. Don't you know? It's beautiful, yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful, I love it. Did you see the name on the other side? No. Okay, cracking. And that reminds me of a, a thought heavy called the Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really cool, it's a really cool car. Jaeger and Yarn sent us these fun little stitch markers with seashells and um, seahorses and starfish. These look like to be a, a smallish to medium stitch marker. I would guess that would work okay on a, up to a, a seven or an eight. I could be wrong, but that's about what I guess. And I think they're super fun and sparkly. I love this jewel and gold kind of theme. It fits our pirates very well. Fabulous little gold coin thingies. Like in Pirates of the Caribbean where they had the coin that kept them alive forever. Arr. Maybe I'll just stay alive a while longer. Is it a doubloon? Doubloon. Buckets of doubloons. Not doubloons, but doubloons. Fellview Fiber sent us these really beautiful snail-like Rolex that are, um, she called these rigging gradient bat sets. So she did samples as Rolex. But when you buy the bats, they're each of these individual colors for each bat. These are, let's see, I based this gradient blend on a photograph of sails and rigging on a tall ship. Pirates would be proud of such a vessel, she said. And this is um, seven separate bats. It's merino and tussa silk. So she did three shepherd shades of shades of merino, three shades of tussa silk, and then she blended them together into this beautiful um, gradient Rolag and bat set. Love it. It's Rolag, yes? Mm -hmm. It's a brown Rolag. Brown, tan, moving to a nice delightful cream. Rigging gradient bat set, me hearties. Climb the rigging to the crow's nest. Do you think when they're climbing to the crow's nest, they have to tell the other guys, don't look at my booty. Okay, Willow Fairy Wool sent us this beautiful, this is roving, it's 100% merino. This is a, a gray merino that she over dyed with beautiful blues and greens. And this is called seafaring. And she said, for all those Vikings out there, which I thought was kind of fun, super soft. And this would spin up into an absolutely beautiful yarn. Ooh, this is a pretty green. Willow Fairy Wool, handmade and unique. There is no way you can tie green into a booty. It just wouldn't be pretty. But this is pretty. Oh! Seafaring. Seafaring for all those Vikings out there. I can see that. That looks like the foam on the top when it's getting whooped up and your ship's about to go. Kitty Minecraft sent us these really fun little skeins. She titled these Captain Shakespeare. And this is based on a movie. 
Her ins inspiration is a movie called Stardust, an airship pirate movie. Well, Robert Richard De Niro in ivory women's undergarments with a brightly colored feather boa and a fluffy pink feather fan. Now that would be a booty shot. And I love this yarn. She did lots of fun little bright jewel tones mixed on top of this beautiful cream color. And this particular yarn is an 80-20 superwash merino with nylon, and this is fingering weight, so this would be great for any shawl or socks that you wanted to knit. Um, there's a lot of fun things you can do with fingering weight yarn, but I absolutely love this little skein. Hip Strings sent us these beautiful fluffy blended rovings. Um, this is called Russian Mule, and it has 62.5% of superfine merino wool, 25% mulberry silk, 8.75% merino wool, and 3.75% Stellina. And that Stellina is bronze, which I love. Absolutely beautiful and super, super soft. Look at that yumminess. I think this would be so much fun to spin. Lutheran Fiber Arts sent us in this beautiful silk sliver. This is 100% silk. She titled this Plundered from the Flagship of the Honorable East India Company. And this she showed woven. I think this would be a really beautiful triangle shawl ex woven exactly like this. Super soft and sparkly and beautiful. And then this is an example of it spun into yarn, which I thought was kind of fun. Here's the actual fluff. Let's see if I can get that nice and close. Love that. So there's um, it's a white silk with a little bit of just an almost an orange color, a soft pink, and a blue. Absolutely beautiful together. It almost looks like flowers. Love it. Super soft. Oh, this is the person that does everything up so you know what it looks like. That's cool. Mm -mm. Plundered from the flagship of the Honorable East India Company. Bugs. <laughs> Pretty cool. Gloria Patre sent these gorgeous little samples of these little front um, cl lobster claw stitch markers with a tropical tree and a shell. And then two of these fun, I just think these are so adorable, pirate cat buttons. Button. Buttons! They're so freaking cute. I love them. Wouldn't this be adorable on a little boy's pirate outfit? Or girl. You could have a girl pirate. Or a button right in the front of your beanie. A beanie button. This would be the cutest beanie button ever. Absolutely love that. She did great. And then she gave everybody a little doubloon <coughs> of chocolate because Gloria Patre knows we all need chocolate. Nice. Stitch markers of shells and palm trees and wiener dogs with a No, little patch. pirate cat buttons. Oh, they're little pirate cats. I thought they were dachshunds. <laughs> Fusion is back in the box. Absolutely love this fluff. She sent us these little rovings that are superwash merino, bamboo, nylon, firestar, and sparkly Angelina, which everybody knows is one of my favorite things ever. She titled this one, Shake That Booty, which I think is hilarious and adorable all at the same time. It's got wonderful little rainbow of neon colors in it, sparkle, and then a nice, subtle, dark purple. Sent this rainbow colored, and look, if you look very closely, you see very closely, it's smiling at you. It has eyeballs and a smile. That's not easy to do when you package stuff. So shake that booty. You want some of this booty. Winemaker Sisters sent us these gorgeous stitch markers. I always love her themed stitch marker sets. If you haven't been to her shop, go check it out. She's on Etsy, winemakersister.etsy.com. She has beautiful themed stitch markers. This time, she themed them with pirates. So she's got a beautiful little ivory skull here, a little treasure chest, another skull and crossbones, a coin, a fl pirate flag, and a ship. 
but I thought these were really fun. Let's see if I can get any closer because they're so detailed and fun. Love this one. Beautiful work. I love her stuff. Go check it out. Those are cool skulls and ships and the blues. And there's even an ivory skull in that. Wild Hair Studio sent us this gorgeous fluffy bat. And this is um, a wonderful blend of purebred Romydale CVM, which we love, and a crossbred wool as well. It's got Angelina Sparkle, love that. It's got Sari Silk, which you can see throughout. Um, bamboo and Tussa Silk. So it has all kinds of fun little silky inclusions, but it's really just the super soft wool. I could see this spun up into a beautiful yarn and knit into a hat with just little tiny pops of color. Love it. She titled this one Buried Treasure, which I think is really fun because all these little colorful treasures are going to pop out in your yarn when you spin this up. Wild Hair Studio, Buried Treasure. That's pretty cool. There's all kinds of colored veins going through this one. September, pirates and their treasures. Yo ho ho with a bottle of rum, me hearties. You want to plunder this box? Dive into your booty. Here's more booty. <laughs> How many times are you going to say booty? Booty, 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 booty. <laughs> I'd be like Snoop Dogg with some other words on a roast I saw. Oh. Booty, booty, booty. <laughs> this is my dad, and he's going to announce a special contest that he decided would be fun for us to do a giveaway at the end of this month's box. Okay, it was my idea as many times as Denny was saying booty throughout his portion of the video. I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a, a special contest to tell us exactly how many times booty Denny said. Not me, not Crystal, just Denny. And for those correct guesses, well then we will put those into a box and we will pull one winner out. Or Crystal will pull one winner out because me, I'm going to be gone. I'm a piece of history. <laughs> so everybody, rewind as many times as you can. Count them all up. This is a freebie for you. Yay. Yeah, we, we just, we like to give away stuff around here. We've always got fiber, yarn, stitch markers, and all kinds of fun little gadgets that our contributors send in and say, give this away to somebody who's gonna love it. And that's part of our goal is to share all of the wonderful fibers and yarns and everything that we get here at headquarters with you so you'll know who do you want to buy your next fluff from? You know, when you see locks that just sparkle in the sunlight and you know that's going to be the perfect thing for your next project. Um, when you see fluff that just sings to you and you can't wait to spin that, you, need to, you know you need to get enough to do a full project. So that's what Fat Fiber is all about. Um, I spend my time marketing all of the different contributors and I really want you to enjoy their work and see how wonderful everything is. Thank you for joining us. Wasn't that a fantastic group of fibers and, and pirates booty? Well, don't forget our booty contest. Oh wait, that doesn't sound right. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for joining us and next month is October, so we'll be doing good goth. That should be dark and beautiful and I can't wait to show you that too. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Get away from there, that's my beer. Slip, didn't I? <laughs>